in a baffling mystery. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at the discovery of a mummified body found in a Pontiac garage. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking at 10 bodies that were discovered years after the person died. When Joyce died, she was surrounded by Christmas presents, wrapped and ready to share. Yet even those who would have received them didn't notice her absence. For this list, we're investigating the discoveries of corpses of human beings who lived in the 20th century onwards. We'll be excluding historical figures who lived before the 1900s. Number 10, Pauline and Caroline Jessett. In the summer of 2014, police in Oxfordshire, England made a grisly discovery in a small rural home. At the urging of environmental health staff worried about the security of the building, officers broke in and discovered the remains of mother and daughter Pauline and Caroline Jessett. Medical examiners could not rule the cause of death for both women, but believed they'd passed naturally. According to the coroner's report, Pauline had been dead since 2012 and Caroline since 2013 after failing to handle her mother's passing. Reportedly, Caroline suffered from mental illness and was reclusive. Examiners determined Pauline, also a known recluse, may have been dead for a year. Caroline wrapped Pauline's body in sheets and blankets and put her in the bathtub. The bodies could only be identified by using forensic techniques like checking the specific serial number on Pauline's artificial hip. Number nine. John Sabine. Before her death in 2015, Welsh woman Leanne Sabine made her neighbors promise to dig up an old medical skeleton she had hidden and place it in the house for a joke. Leanne Sabine described herself as a former cabaret singer. She gave people the impression that her husband remained in New Zealand. Three weeks after her death, it was discovered that this was no medical skeleton. It was the 18-year-old corpse of her ex-husband, John Sabine, which had been wrapped in plastic and hidden in 1997. Dr. Richard Jones told an inquest the remains had been discovered beneath layers of wrapping, including shopping bags and bin liners. The now deceased Leanne subsequently became the prime suspect in a murder investigation. He told the court how he'd examined an ornamental frog removed from the scene. He said he believed it had caused the injuries inflicted by a single Blow. Bizarrely, this isn't the only time this has happened. In 2014, the body of Charles Woodburn was found buried on his property in Jefferson, Maine after 12 years missing. He was also suspected to have been killed by his spouse. Number 8. Unknown Man in Lille, France In 2012, the body of a man was found on a deserted property in Lille, France, after lying completely undiscovered in his bed for some 15 years. By the time he was discovered by the French authorities, he was nothing more than a skeleton in pajamas. Though it's been impossible to determine both a cause of death and the man's identity so far, police say that given the fact that the house was clean inside and the doors were all locked, he most likely died peacefully in his sleep. The only other information they've managed to find out is that he was Spanish and may have been born as long ago as 1921. Number seven. Joyce Carol Vincent. In 2003, Joyce Carol Vincent visited the hospital for a peptic ulcer, and that was the last time she was seen alive. After being discharged, she retreated to her London bedsit, a place meant for women who were the victims of domestic violence. It's here that she died from what investigators believe is of natural causes, alone in front of the television. We knew pretty quickly that it was out of the ordinary. She wasn't alcoholic, she didn't smoke, she didn't take drugs. About three years later, authorities went to collect overdue rent and found Joyce's remains, TV still on, tragically surrounded by wrapped but undelivered Christmas presents. The discovery briefly hit the headlines, prompting desultory soul-searching about how a society could have neglected someone so badly. The story struck such a chord that a documentary was even made about her life and how she could have gone all this time without anybody looking for her. Given all the information that we had about Joyce, although it was quite limited, it just seemed strange and highly unusual that there was no one there for her. Number six, Quincy Jamar Davis. In the mid-2000s, teenager Quincy Davis was pulled out of middle school and was never seen or heard from again. That is, until a state trooper conducted a search of his mother Tanya's Ford Mustang during a routine traffic stop over a decade later. An officer stopped 44-year-old Tanya Slayton earlier this month on I-64 in Hampton. 
Police discovered the remains and arrested her for concealment of a dead body. After noticing an unpleasant smell and bleach stains in the car, the officer checked the trunk and found Quincy's remains, hidden and wrapped up in plastic trash bags and sealed tight with duct tape. It's just really, really tragic. You know, anybody I think who has kids um, would just would just understand how tragic that is. Following the discovery, Tanya has pled guilty to a charge of voluntary manslaughter and has been sentenced to 10 years in prison. Her trial would have started next week. Slayton agreed to serve eight years of a 10-year sentence with the other two years suspended. Number five, Hedviga Golik. Ask yourself, how does a corpse go completely undiscovered for 42 years in a city center loft apartment? It seems that no one has a good answer, but that is exactly what happened to Hedviga Golik when she died in Zagreb, Croatia, only to be unfound for almost half a century. She was last seen in 1966, and in the 70s, neighbors supposedly asked the police to check the apartment after assuming she had moved out. Finally, in 2008, neighbors broke in and found Hedviga dead in front of her TV with a cup of tea beside her. Number four, Natalie Wood. She was nicknamed the woman Sydney forgot when her body was found on the floor next to her bed. Natalie Wood was discovered in 2011 after she was last sighted by her sister-in-law Enid Davis in January 2004. Wood's remains were reportedly so small that when the house was first searched, they were initially missed, and they could later be packed up into one drawer plus two jars. Wood had apparently confided in Enid that she was suffering from a brain tumor, and though the state of her remains makes it impossible to tell, that is possibly what ended up killing her. Number three, Gregory Barnes. It took Sonia Barnes 35 years to finally get closure over what happened to her brother when he mysteriously vanished during a skiing trip to the Italian Alps. He stayed with his sister in Ottawa, Canada for a week in 1980 before his relocation to Europe where he met his end. In 2015, the Italian authorities contacted Sonia and revealed that Gregory's body had finally been found. This was only possible because an unusually hot summer had melted enough of a glacier that the crevasse into which she had fallen was revealed, along with his passport that allowed him to be identified. Number two, Joanne Nichols. This discovery turning into quite a story, a murder story. In 1985, while on her way to a hair salon appointment, widely adored first grade teacher Joanne Nichols vanished. Her remains were found after her husband James died in 2012, and a contractor was emptying out their house in Poughkeepsie, New York. When the contractor knocked down a false wall, he found Joanne kept inside a large plastic container and wrapped in more plastic and sheets. Police say the remains were found in a sealed container behind a false wall in the basement of this Poughkeepsie home, and it looks like it was there for years. The medical examiner reported that she most likely died of blunt force trauma 28 years ago. Her late husband is the prime murder suspect. He reported her missing nearly three decades ago. He died of natural causes in December at 82 years old. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Pia Ferenkoff Though she had nine siblings, Pia Ferenkoff often went years without contacting any of them or any other friends or relatives for that matter. It seems strained family ties may be part of the reason a woman's death at her home in Pontiac went unnoticed for years. These reclusive habits are ultimately the reason nobody found her for five years after she died, when a contractor visited to evaluate the property after it was taken into foreclosure by the bank. Ferenkoff's body was lying on the back seat of her SUV, parked in the garage, and police estimate it had been there since at least 2009. They pulled the Jeep with her mummified remains out of her garage last night. They investigated the incident as a potential homicide, saying that it was unlikely that she took her own life. The cause of her death has been ruled undeterminable since 2015. Investigators say they found no signs of trauma yet. And also when talking with Pia's sister, she says she's heard from neighbors that they thought Pia had a son, but she said as far as she's aware, Pia never had a son. 